day 847, 847 days dealing with this guy who now if you go back to the very first video or uh, day 39, there's a lot of people that like day 39 because of the castor oil. But if you go back and look, this guy is definitely bigger, bigger. However, uh, we found out later there was one and then two, three, four, five. So there's Watson and then four friends. And I am coming in, I'm sitting outside the University of Minnesota right now. I'm going to go and meet with the doctor who is a specialist in the ENT, that's ear, nose, and throat area, that's this parent-pharyngeal space. And he's the surgeon who removed my tumor 11, 12 years ago now, 12 years ago. I had a golf ball size tumor, it was about the same size, up between my jaw and my skull. And he gave me this huge incision. It's kind of hard to see because of the light, but there's a big incision there here. You can see because these scalene muscles are gone now. This is scalene, this is missing because they severed the nerve when uh, the surgery happened. And what happened as a result was I talked like this for about a year because this side of my face was numb. I don't want that to happen again. So any of these tumors that might be in an area that would jeopardize the nerve function of my face, I've, since day one, if you go back and watch the videos, I've decided I don't want to have surgery. So flash forward, we're 847 days in. I have now met people who, um, not in this same space, but have had tumors and they've chosen to have them surgically removed. They didn't have you know, any massive deformities from it. Uh, in some cases it was required to save their life. And um, there are some benefits I've learned. I've, I've become more educated in this. And so one of the benefits is that if you do a biopsy, you can find out the exact cell division type that's within this tumor because it is growing it is it's bigger than it was in the beginning mri number six we're going to go in and review with the surgeon how the surgeon however um i already read the impression and after a lot of these you just you get a feel for how they read and what they are and basically i've got about nine percent growth on this guy about ten percent growth on this guy and 0% growth on the three tumors inside, deeper inside my head, uh, between my skull and my jaw. And what that means is all of the therapy, all of the natural therapy to support my body's immune system, to help me detox all of the toxins, which I've like not told you guys about as a whole. I have had uh, mycotoxins, I've had uh, glyphosates. I've had all kinds of uh, chemicals from gas and plastic and motor oil from all the years of racing, like basically from the time I was probably three years old until about 27. So that's a long time, right? 24 years of gasoline exhaust uh, from dirt bikes and racing and living on a farm and just like, you know, chemicals with no gloves. And that stuff makes you toxic and then your liver pathways shut down and you basically recycle all those chemicals. And we found out I was so, so toxic um, that the charts for the standard tests for toxins c couldn't show how high my limit was. There was, I was seven times higher than the maximum of the chart, which is, you know, it's kind of a big deal. And so I've worked for 847 days to detox and um, probably the largest components of that are good, healthy fruits and vegetables, organic stuff, like everything as much as is humanly affordable and coffee enemas and saunas. So you sweat it out. You coffee enema it out. The coffee enemas increase your uh, liver's bile production function by between 400 and 700 percent. Those are not my opinion. That's the study on this. You can look it up for yourself. Go to PubMed and Google it. You can find the study and read it for yourself. So as a whole, if you do the math. I've been really conservative at 1.5. It's probably more than that because 
most days I'm at two, maybe three coffee hours. Probably on average it's two, but I did the math at 1.5. And as a whole, over 847 days, that would put me at an increase of liver function between 13, like literally 13 to 18 years of increased liver function over the past 847 days. So what does that look like? Well, that would mean that at the age of 41, at the time of this recording, I have sort of caught up by as low as 13 years, as high as 18 years in detoxing my body. And I don't, I, I'm not saying this is one-to-one. -one. I'm just, it, it helps me think it's the engineer side of me. The Lord side of me, the, the spiritual side where I've prayed and asked the Lord, like, guide me, lead me, protect me in this, is simply continue on with what you're doing, which is coffee enemas, it's saunas, it's eating healthy. I don't think I'll ever change that, like, for the rest of my life. But what does that look like in terms of dealing with tumor, MRI number six, and, and the surgeon? Well, I want to talk to the surgeon today about possibly, I'm saying possibly, removing this tumor or this tumor if there's no issues at all, like no nerve functions, no no other concerns. And then that'll just be prayed over. Like I'm, just because he says yes doesn't mean I'm, I, like everything goes to the Lord in prayer. The Lord Jesus Christ, the only true living God, the one who resurrected from the dead, who redeemed my soul from death and has asked all I need to do is ask for forgiveness of sins and I will go to heaven and be with him forever as can you if you repent of your sins. And so that's what I've done. And I ask him for the leading and guiding of the Holy Spirit. So I'm here waiting to have this conversation with the surgeon because maybe to make what I'm doing better, I should find out what kind of tumor tissue this is. And in doing so, then our, our healing protocol can be adjusted because there's a lot of um, variants in how tumors grow. Some, almost, the vast majority of tumors definitely grow from sugar. That's been documented really well by Dr. Otto Warburg back in the 1930s. He won the Nobel Prize for it. That's not junk science. That's a fact. You can look it up. The other is a... Tumors are fed off of uh, an amino acid. I'm going to mess this up. It starts with a G. I'm, I'm going to mess it up. Right? I'll, I'll put it, I'll try and come back and explain that. The amino can be, the pathway can be blocked by the use of ashwagandha, very natural uh, root source food that you can take in a powder form or capsule form very easily. So I've, I do that. I do both of those. Um, that's the most common ways that tumors grow. You should know that. That's like the very fundamental thing. The other thing that hinders you is toxins. So you've got environmental toxins, which could be mold. It could be uh, VOCs. Here I'm sitting in a really hot car. There's probably VOC, volatile organic compounds that are floating out and I'm breathing in and my liver is going to have to filter those out because they sit in you and you have to detox them. And so there's a lot of things that can be done to help you detox, but not being in the toxic area is probably number one. So I've, we've eliminated nearly everything that I know of out of our house, um, drink filtered water, right? You've got to have clean food. You've got to have clean water, real water, not tap water that has chlorine and fluoride and all the other chemicals that are like six, um, six sided molecules that won't break down. Benzenes, your, your benzene rings, those things don't break down. They're typically from man-made medications because they're synthetic and biologically they don't break down. And so they get recycled in your water. They, they're literally, you, you pee them out, it, the water treatment plants treat the water, they add chlorine and fluoride, and they pump all that back in, and then you just bring it out of your tap, and you recycle it when you drink it, and then those toxins get built up in you. Look all this stuff up. Like, don't trust me. Please don't trust me. Just do the work yourself. 
take that Acts 17, 11 verse where the Bereans were so diligent, they worked so hard to go and look everything up in scriptures themselves. I'm just telling you, go and look all of this stuff up yourself. I'm probably wrong. There's probably areas I'm wrong, but I'm going to live out my conviction based on what I've been led to do. And I'd encourage you to do the same. Just do your homework and do that work well. And that's how you stay positive in this because it's a battle. I have a lot of bad days. There's a lot of difficult days. However, coming back and going, okay, Lord, what would you have me to do today? That's what gets me going and gets me through the next step, whatever that is. So now I'm getting to go and talk to the doctor. I am, I am excited. He's, he's been an advocate. However, he is not a natural path type doctor. He's not a, he's not a holistic, like whole body. I'll go in and tell him, you know, I had, um, I had, a. Uh, um, my gut bacteria looked at it was a three day long fecal matter test and i am rotten i've got some really bad dysbiosis which is like really nasty um plus four type toxin bacteria and what that means is that they off gas and they they basically poison me and i have to go through a whole regiment of things to get rid of that and it's i mean it's a long process i probably could take me six months to get this turned around maybe longer but you just do what you can do. Like I've, I've offloaded so many, so many, oh my gosh, Epstein-Barr, Bartonella, uh, mycoplasm uh, infection in my nose. I didn't, I, none of those I knew I had. Um, mono, I probably have Lyme. I'm still working on getting the testing done for, Lyme's complicated, but good doctors know how to deal with it. And they, they put a barrage of, blood tests together and they look at the results as a whole and a good Lyme doctor can identify and analyze that and say, yeah, you probably have Lyme, Lyme disease. Um, that'll take you down and it's hard to identify. And you can say, well, wow, how does that help you build tumors? Well, the tumor tissue is really the body's response at protecting you. Like this is a good warning. If it wasn't for this warning, I wouldn't be doing anything. Like that's a positive thing. I'm thankful for Watson because Watson is why I am like, I got to continue on this path and make things better. I got to clean my life up and make it better so that I'm not eating uh, toxins. I'm not drinking toxic water and I'm breathing clean air. You, I, we have HEPA air filters in our home. We do everything we can to have good, clean, filtered air. And that's where I'm going to stop because I probably should go check in. I will give you an update on this. That's, that's step two. God bless you. I pray that the Lord blesses you with all the wisdom and information that you need to make the next step and stay healthy and stay close to the Lord. That's the biggest thing. If you don't know Jesus as Savior and Lord, please just, just repent. Just ask him, please forgive me for my sins. Take that step. He will fill you with the Holy Spirit. Your whole life will change. And then this idea of like, well, how do you stay positive? Just keep your eyes on Jesus because he's the one who's leading me through this. He's the reason that this video exists. And God bless you and I'm praying for you and I'll give you an update later. God bless.